So now we're going to go and take this leather, and we're going to go and make the research book that we need for um, Ancient Warfare. So we can start working on getting that going. And then I want to look into what I need for Foundry. Uh, Foundry is basically, uh, think of it kind of like Tinker's Construct in that it allows you to make liquid metals. Uh, but it all it is more it more incorporates the metals you already have in your game and allows you to turn them into liquids uh, rather than adding its own metals for you to find. Oh wow, more sheep! Well, I will definitely definitely take your wool. What a crazy jungle. Alright, I'm gonna take uh I'm gonna take some of this. Gravel. So I'm gonna need gravel and or flint at some point in the near future. And this looks like a real place to take it from. How to start ancient warfare research. Um so with ancient warfare you need uh as many book, many mods do nowadays, uh, you need a some kind of a research book, and uh, you also need a research station. So basically, the way it works is you put your research book into the research station with certain materials, um, such as string or uh, wood. Uh, iron ingots, gunpowder, gold ingots. There's a lot of different things that you may have to put in there in order to uh, basically research technology. And I'll be showing you that here in just a moment because we are about home. And so it's not just uh, get a book and get research or um, and be able to build stuff. You have to actually put um, things together is basically the, the best way to explain it. So let's look for a book, and we want the research book here. So two iron and three paper. Let's see, where is our paper? Let's go ahead and grab two iron. Bones, arrows will be needed. Uh, we're going to need wool at some point as well. <coughs> well, let's get some paper. And now we should be good to go. There we go. So we needed all four of that uh, leather. So now we right click on it and it is now set as my book. If you look here, uh, you'll see it's got my name on it now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, the book here and you can see these are the different things that you can uh, research. Currently we don't, uh, don't know anything. But if we click on uh, the research here, then it'll tell us uh, what it leads, uh, or not what it leads to, but uh, uh, what is required in order to get there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the research station here and we're going to put our book in here. And uh, also, let's see, we have an adjacent inventory which is to the west. So we're going to go in here and we're going to tell it that uh, we have um, an adjacent inventory uh, to the west. And we're going to tell it to use that adjacent inventory. And it looks like you can actually have more than one. Uh, which slots to get resources from. Um, okay, well, we'll just put both of those on west. Uh, let's see, we're probably going to need some 
wood in there. All right, so now let's look at, uh, if we hit the info, this is the same as if we were uh, just opening the book on its own. Uh, and from here, when we turn off this check mark, it changes from research to items. So if we wanted to see what, what we needed to make a certain item, like let's say we want a crop farm, it'll tell us that we need agriculture. If we click on agriculture, um, it'll show us what it'll allow us to make. And uh, is there a prerequisite for that? Hmm, doesn't look like it. So uh, let's go research agriculture. So if we do agriculture, we need 24 sticks, four torches, four uh, wheat, and three string. Well, if I get that, um, I don't have anybody to work it yet. Um, and I don't know that I can I can work the farm myself unless I put uh, like a hand crank on it, and I might be able to do that. I'd have to look and see. Uh, if we look at invention here, uh, this one here, can we see what it's going to lead to? Um, so invention would open up engineering. Uh, and we can queue them up. So that would give us the wheel, mathematics. I know I want to get to mining because um, that's going to get us eventually to, um, oh, what is it, uh, the ability to make steel and such. Let's see where agriculture takes us. From there is animal husbandry. Um, let's see. We'll, and fishing. So these are all different uh, technologies, but I can go ahead and start with agriculture. So then when I go in here, it's going to say we need 24 sticks, uh, three strings. So all I need to do is throw some wheat and some torches in there. Well, I know I've got some wheat here. And do I have any torches? Uh, oh, actually, I already had wheat in there. It needs a bunch of sticks. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of sticks. And we should have strings. We just need torches. Oh, there's a kitty. I'm going to need to do some fishing so I can get one of those over here to keep creepers out of my house. Uh, charcoal. So let's make some more sticks. You can never have enough sticks. Alright, so that'll give us half a stack there. And... You have to be actively in the inventory in order for it to work. Um, why are you not going? Torch, wheat, string. Is there no string? No, we have string. And that is to the west. Does it not like it over there? It is to the west. Oh wow, you can do down and up as well, huh? It is to the west. I don't know why it's not uh, not pulling it out. All right, let's do this manually. So we've got wheat, sticks, torches, string. I don't know why it didn't pull it for some reason. So, uh, three string four, four, and I'm just going to put 54 in there. And it, there it goes. Okay, so we now have that uh, researched. So if we look at agriculture, uh, we could now make a crop farm. So in order to do that, Uh, let's just look at a crop farm here. So we need an iron hoe, some wooden gears, and uh, some planks in an ancient warfare crafting station. So let's see. 
Is that the engineering station? I do believe it is, which means I need six iron ingots. How much iron have we got? Not much left after this. Let's get the rest of this stuff back in there. I don't need to. I shouldn't need to carry any of this. Uh, let's see. Just looking to see if I have any chests sitting around to use. Yes, I do. All right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and build this. What am I missing? I don't have any planks on me? Really? Okay, let's go ahead and put this down. And we're just going to put it right here. So now I can take my book out. And I can put my book in here. And now I can make... can't spell farm, but I can make a farm. So a crop farm is here. So how do we make these wooden gears? Uh, some sticks and some planks. So now we go back into here. I don't think I can shift click this in. No, I can't. So let's take a look at it again here real quick. So chest on the bottom. Uh, looks like five planks. Oh, I don't have enough planks. Ugh. Okay, let's see if we can shift click it in now. Nope, still can't. So I'm going to go with this. And a chest here. Two of these. Oh, that's right. I need the iron hoe. Which is the last two iron. Okay. So, there we go. And you can see that if you have a bunch of items in your inventory here, it'll pull from the inventory. Uh, so let's go ahead and take our research book and we're going to put it back in the research station here. And we'll get back to that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how to use the farm. Um, is there a... There isn't a pumpkin farm, is there? It's just a regular farm? Well, what I'm going to do is, um, I need to, I'm not sure if this works the way, the same way it used to or not. So we're going to check. Okay, so yeah, this is, it used to be, get out of here. it was shift left click, wasn't it? And then... Shift left click again, and then you placed it. It's been a while since I've done this. So maybe you adjust it internally. Okay, yeah, you, you adjust it internally now. Before you used to have to like shift click in order to get it to do what you wanted it to do. But okay, we'll put this here. So bounds, nice. Um, we want it to go north. So if we go here, north plus. OK, it doesn't seem to be able to go to the north. Why is that? Hey, Matthew. Um, so I guess that's as big as it can go. That is okay. Um, you used to be able to make it a nine by nine. Okay, so I'm clicking on things here. What is this? Oh, 
Oh, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm not sure exactly what this is doing. Shadow Mage, what have you done to me? Okay, so we're going to have to play with this a little bit. So did this just change the orientation of it? Is that what that is? Let's see what that does. Okay, so that puts it to the north only. Right, okay, so this is the way it's facing. I think we're figuring it out. So if I put it there, okay, I've got that part. And I don't understand what this part here is. That I'll have to figure out. Okay, so we know that seeds go in. Um, what does this say for scythes? Okay, so if we wanted to change what things were, we could do that. But I don't have any way to make this work. Let me see if there is a, uh, a crank. I know there used to be some type of a ha hand operator for this. What is this? Hand crank torque generator. Uh, that's going to need a lot of iron. We're not there yet. Okay. Sorry that it took so long, guys. Uh, like I said, it's been a long time since I have uh, worked with this one. So let's clear out some of our inventory here. And we will uh, see what other kind of trouble we can get into. 